everybody this is Steve at FR Sky and today we are going to be looking at an ethos update I'm going to take you through it in real time this is an older radio it has not been updated in probably four months so I'm going to turn it on and put it right in bootloader mode and plug it in and we're going to check out what it does and I'm going to take you through and also go to the free sky flasher um you, you don't see this on the screen but i plugged in and to us the usb drive or the S, micro sd card drive and the control memory just popped up the directories for each of those you can see it's an x20 and as soon as i press on ethos it's going to read everything and you can see the internal modules out of date it's 2.2.2 it's latest one's 2.2.6 um the flash is up to date all i'm going to do is i'm just going to hit this write outdated components this is the fastest way to update everything and you can see that right now it's copying the english audio sound packs and so um i wanted to point out as we're going through this that if you want to change your languages this is where you would do it you can have multiple languages so you can have it in english and Spanish and Portuguese and everything else like that. Uh, right now we're writing the firmware. And so as we write the firmware, if you look on the screen, you'll see that there's a status bar that looks almost identical to this. Um, and I'm looking at the version of this. This is version 1.4.12. So this is, a um, we're on 1.4.15. So this is fairly recent. Um, but the, the internal module is very much out of date. This is about four versions back. So as I'm going through right now, it's it has a, uh, you know it's going through and it's showing the same thing on the screen. Um, the other thing that we could do if I were to click on this is you can write over all components. So if you feel like there's something missing in your radio, that might be the best way to do it. It's going to be a much longer download. It's going to rewrite everything. Now the radio is kicked back on. And you can hear that it's once again discovered. The last thing it's going to look for is to flash the bootloader. So it's doing that right now. It is refreshing the radio. And it looks like everything is successful up to date. Now I'm going to go to the FRSK flasher. And... I'm going to select this one right here. I've already downloaded it, so all I have to do is flash it. And uh, the reason I can't show you the download process is because it's going to pop up with a, a uh, Windows Explorer screen, which you won't be able to see. But So what I did is I downloaded it, and I put it into a drive. And once it's found it, it will constantly look for that drive. So I did it for one radio, I can do it for multiple radios. And it says it's been flashed successfully. And that is the end of the process. And that is the end of the video. So thanks for watching. It was a short but sweet one. And have a great day. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.